All right, science classes, it is uh, December 17th, if I'm remembering my dates correctly. Um, we are going to be taking a look at our uh, final slow, so I'm not going to take too much of your time here with the intro. just want to touch base on a couple of things. First of all, um, as was the case with the pretest slow, it's posted on Google Classroom. It was posted as you walked into the room. So if you've not yet grabbed a computer, go ahead and grab a computer and get logged in. <clears throat> You're going to be doing it on there. It's not on a Google form. Like some of our quizzes have been, it's on a Google Docs. You'll just type on there. Uh, please reminder to use a different color, blue or red, uh, to make it easier to see what you wrote. Um, I do know that it was a bit of a challenge to do some of the drawing. Sometimes some of the Chromebook cameras don't work well if you drew on a piece of paper and took a picture. Sometimes trying to access Google Draw didn't work so well, so I did make a concession on that. I have these drawing pages that I'm going to be passing out um, so you guys can answer the questions where you need to draw on those. Uh, on the drawing page it says highlight, sound or light for number six. You can circle or just write it down either way. Um, just make sure that you've got that part done. So you're going to turn the drawing page into the turn-in bin. You're going to turn in what you finish on the slow to uh, hit the turn-in button next to share on your screen or back on Google Classroom. And those will be graded and gotten back to you uh, as quickly as possible. Yesterday's quiz is graded. It's updated on Google Classroom. It's updated in the gradebook. Um, and so with that in mind, if you scored less than a C on either of the last two quizzes, the uh, chemical reactions one, then you would already know that you have um, less than a C there. And then uh, if you scored less than a, a C on the thermal energy, then there is an end term study guide. You need to do corrections and or an end term study guide. I recommend the study guide because you can use this on the test um, to be able to do the uh, retest activity, which will be before the end of the week. Um, basically, it'll be when you've got your stuff done uh, and then you can do it because it's on Edpuzzle. So if you don't bother to get the requirement done to actually uh, qualify for a retest, you don't get to do the retest. That's how that works. Um, I will get things updated on Google Classroom today for who has uh, quiz corrections for the thermal energy quiz. Um, on those quizzes, I wrote down your score out of 14. I wrote down what the percentage was, and then I matched that percentage to our chart on the board that lists A through K uh, as the possible grades, just to kind of try to keep you in the loop of uh, where you're at, not trying to embarrass anybody or anything like that. Try to make it easy for you. So I have taken enough of your time. You should hopefully be logged in and taking a look at your slow. I'm going to let you get to it. Let's stay quiet for the rest of the period. Thanks so much and happy Tuesday.